Hello, it's me again, Nancy Today. I appreciate all your comments. This is my update for today. Today is October the 8th. I went to the Atlanta Temple this morning. I wasn't sure if I was going to go because it was early and I hadn't slept very well for the last couple nights. But 7 o'clock rolled around and I was awake and I knew that once I was awake I might as well get up. So I did. And I went to the temple. And I took a different route this time. Instead of taking 316 to Atlanta, I took I-78. I've been eating chocolate. <laughs> and you can probably tell. You know, Tallulah, you made a comment yesterday about how you like to be alone. And I love being alone. You know, I really love being alone. And I find that I don't remember how much I love being alone until I am alone. And it's just heavenly. I talk to you guys on my camera. To y'all. And um, that's, you know, in many situations where I've been like on press trips with a lot of people. And, and then I, I go to my own room or my own tent or something. And it's really... It's really quite um, quite lovely to be alone. I like it. Well, when I arrived at the temple, now I've been going every Wednesday. So every Wednesday I spend time in the temple with the same people because the same people work on every Wednesday. And I've been gone for three weeks or maybe it was two weeks. And when I walked in, all these people I knew, all these workers, hugged me and said, Oh, you're back. Oh, we missed you. What a wonderful feeling that was. I don't know these people well, but the love that they all have for me, you know, it's so unconditional and so accepting, and it just felt so good to be there. And those are the people that I guess are my friends. I mean, who are your friends anyway? People that accept you for who you are and are glad to see you. And I'm sure I could talk to any of them. The temple isn't a place for talking a lot. It's a reverent, quiet place, and you only whisper if you need to communicate something. But it was so nice to be there. And it's just filled with the spirit in the temple, and so it's so peaceful. It's just wonderful, and I feel so connected to my own life when I'm there. Because in my own temple, the one I work in in Palmyra, I do the same thing there that the temple workers here do, and so <clears throat> it's the same. So great continuity in my life to have things the same. I remember traveling as a teenager, and it was very difficult when everybody you met was a new person that you had no history with. And, and when you're traveling, if you don't stay in one place very long, you know, that's the way it is. And so down here in Georgia, I I don't make too many friends at church because I I just go and leave and come back to my mom. But and the, but the temple I'm there for a little longer. And anyway, it's just it was a really nice day. So I feel good again. I feel okay. I decided I will try and make a video for you every single day. I'll keep uploading all the back videos, the ones between. There's a lot of things in all those videos. So, if you have time, you can watch them. And I'll also try and upload a video every day with an update. So, my my mind is going through all these changes. I, I love being here, but I love my mom. I miss my family. I miss my husband. And I'm I'm not sure what I can do. I don't think I can take my mother to Canada. Even if I could take her across the border, which I probably could actually, she probably could, would be allowed into the country. She's handicapped. She's not able to stand a long drive or, you know, even a day of flying. It would be very difficult for her. But, you know, it, it's doable. I mean, it's possible. But also... You know, me being out of my element by being here, is it worse for me to be out of my element or for her to be out of her element? 
I can accept everything, but how about an older person, somebody who's 85, who's very used to things the way they are, freezes when it's the house is not at, you know, 77, and it feels very cold outside if it's, you know, doesn't want to go out if it's damp or chilly. And so it's not it's not just a simple thing of taking somebody up there. I mean, winter lasts for six solid months, and to me it's beautiful. I stay inside, but and I go out. But my mom doesn't really go out anyway. She, you know, she likes being at home. People like their own space, especially when they get older. And things are where it's convenient for her, and she's in her least amount of pain doing things the way she does them. <clears throat> I think we're all that way to a certain extent. And I just don't think that, um, I just don't know what to do. I know that I cannot stay here unlimited amount of time. I know that this is a situation that has to change. Not right now. It's okay until Willem retires. You know, maybe it's okay. But to spend your life sort of babysitting somebody, you know, your life goes through your fingers. But it's something useful. If I were at home, I would love it. I would do things at home. But I wouldn't have children to raise. I would be alone at home, which I love. And I would weave and everything. But how would I feel being there knowing that just being with her would make her so happy? But, um, I guess, I guess, um... The best thing to do is seek revelation from the Lord. You know, just stay in tune, try and be good, try and do things so that I'll be able to hear the Lord's voice and feel what's right in my life. Also, there's the situation about insurance. If I come to the United States, my Canadian insurance will will cover me for six months, but they don't pay very much compared to what American doctors cost. American doctors cost much, much, much more. So OHIP will pay what our doctors would be paid. But if I, so I need to have extra health insurance. And I'm not sure how it is with the insurance companies down here. If it's the same if you go to Canada, do you have to buy extra insurance? Anyway, that's another thing to think about. But it looks like it's pretty good having somebody stay here for a bit of the day, you know, having a person come in and take care of things and I'm I'm not sure that there's more that needs to be done at this point. I think that well, it's just um It's a puzzle. It's a real puzzle. A Mensa puzzle. I need I need a Mensa member to figure out this puzzle. I hear about other people that their parents lived with them for 15 years or 10 years or they stayed with their parents. Um, you know, and I have my friend who says that this happened with her parents and she took care of them and ended up divorced. Well, there's no way I want to sacrifice my marriage. No way. I'm not doing that. My husband comes first. Anyway, so there we have it. So I'll live one day at a time. Take things one day at a time. Keep praying for my husband's safety on those snowy roads so we can be together again soon. Anyway, was that cheerful? I know some of you like to be cheered up by me. Um, let's see if I have a joke I can tell you. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like I had a joke somebody told me. But I don't know what it is. And sometimes just jokes aren't all that they're cracked up to me. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up. You can do this at home. Results will differ.
Bye-bye.